Hello friends, today we have a new player in the AI softwares. The name is Focus. It's very simple and it's very, very powerful. Focus is created by Elias Viel and uh, you can download that from the GitHub. I will place the link in the description. And it's using the Stable Diffusion XL Base and Refiner. Here in the description, you can read many useful information, for example, uh, learned from Stable Diffusion, the software is offline and open source, and similar to the mid-journey, it's very easy to write the prompts. And also, you can run that only with 4 gigabytes of RAM. So, if your GPU doesn't have enough memory, you can use Focus to run the Stable Diffusion XL. Uh, how to download the Focus? Go to the GitHub page and just click on the click here to download. After that, you will receive a zip file. And after extracting the zip file, just run the execute the run.bat. It's all. And after that, it will automatically download the STXL from the internet. After extracting the zip file, you can see these files. It has Python embedded and the focus folder. So because it has Python embedded, it is not necessary for you to install the Python, but be sure that uh, you still you need to install the Git from the internet. And here, if you go to the focus folder, you can see the models folder and the checkpoint. If already you have the checkpoint of the STXL, you can place them in the folder. Else, if you run the X dot bat, okay, if you execute run dot bat, it will automatically download the model from the internet. So once that you run the execute run dot bat, after that it's going to check the update and the software is going to be open. <coughs> I'm trying to show my task manager to you. I'm trying to show you my task manager and check the GPU memory. It's very important. Uh, already, now I am running many softwares on my computer and before executing nine gigabyte of my VRAM is in use. Okay, now let's write a prompt. The interface is very, very simple. Really, it's very simple and there is not anything to do configuration. If you press the advance, you can see some different resolution. For example, these are the preferred resolutions, okay? And you can hear from here, you can select two different parameter, speed or quality. If you need higher quality, press the quality, or else you can select a speed. And from image style, you can select different style, test them. They are very, very fun and useful. Okay, here we have to write our prompt. For example, here there are some workers that are working on the street and I'm pressing the generate. Okay, take a look to the GPU memory. From nine gigabyte, we went to 15. Okay, so now it used six gigabyte VRAM on my computer, but they told us that it can work with also four gigabyte. Here you can see the image in the preview and at each time it's going to generate two image because we have image number two and let's see the result. <coughs> 
you should go to the focus folder and open the output and from here you can see the images okay you can see that the image is very sharp and is very clean yes it's very sharp and it's very clean and really it's in cinematic style okay let's do a test with another prompt really i like this prompt the prompt is very easy i am not using any negative prompt or any other things a sculpture making a very large metal sculpture okay a sculptor excuse me yes a sculptor sculptor <laughs> sculptor making a very large metal sculpture so easily it can understand that how the composition should be mm -hmm. okay we can see and also still you can see the gpu memory really it's very very optimized and powerful mm -hmm. okay the first image is ready let me open the preview folder okay so you can see that the hand face shading hair and other things is very perfect it is not using any special algorithms for fixing the face or hands okay it's just using stxl base and refiner so you can see the power of these models oh ah, i like that really it's very interesting uh, or for example uh, let me write another prompt for example this prompt a father giving advice to his son so the image composition is very important and really the ai can understand what is father what is son what is advising what is the emotional feel in the image and here you can see Okay, the first image is ready. Open that. You can see the quality, you can see the texture. Really everything is perfect. And he solved the problem of the SDXL for the CFG, for sampling and other things. And now really it can help us to generate great images. These are some other images. And you can see, for example, this prompt is for architect designing a home advice coronavirus family around the table in the in cartoonish style for advertising horse playing a football close up for melting snow flowers garden and bicycle 
running in the middle of the fires under underwater there is not any cherry pick in these images and really i like that so go and download the focus right now and enjoy the power of the sdxl Elias will make some change in a stable diffusion and here you can find some other information and you can see that it is impossible to do that in automatic 1111 or in comfy ui because he made many changes in the core of the stable diffusion okay for example here we have eight point and i will explain the important parts one by one at first he told us that he's using one sampler and he's loading the refiner and base model in one sampler and uh, it helped us to save the memory and also stay focused on the generation the second one is about the ADM okay I'm not sure exactly what is that but I know that in a stable diffusion XL we had a problem for example sometimes the texture of the skin or outer surfaces was was very blue and he told us that this problem was looking to the CFG sampling and he made some change in CFG sampling and now it can make very very better textures okay I will show you the samples and you can see I test that and really it's very easy and amazing the third one is very useful because they have added many different style templates for example for different kind of photography or drawing or 3d modeling or something like that and also it's very useful uh, they found that the best amount for using the LoRa for the STXL offset example LoRa, LoRa is 0 0.5 and they, he told us that the parameters of the samplers are carefully tuned. If you spend sometimes overworking with STXL, easily you can understand that tuning the parameters is very, very hard and you have to make many different tests. <clears throat> For number six, they have prepared a template for the resolutions, for example, in different, in different separations. And they found the best resolutions that we can use in XL. Again, it's very useful. And for number seven, it was very interesting for me. And they told us it is not necessary to separate the prompts from the base model and refiner and we can use the same prompt for the base model and for the refiner and also it's very useful for me because maybe sometimes it's very hard to take the decision and it's a great proof uh, the number eight is telling us that they are using dpm sampling and schedulers and also it's very useful for us and he told us using the dpm is helping to create detail in texture okay so these are the information please read them it's very very handy and powerful go and download the focus right now and enjoy the power of the sdxl